This is the question on my old car. It uses two hydraulic pistons. It looks kind of cool, but it also completely sucks. It works by smashing two plates together with enough force to prevent them from moving. But since these plates are really terrible at doing their job, you need a lot of force to make them work. To fix this on the new design, instead of using two plates to generate friction, I'm going to use a bunch of them, which should make it nearly impossible. Let's just hope this isn't some kind of metaphor for my new design. Speaking of which, as I was trying to say, this design uses multiple friction plates to make the clutch work better. I felt pretty good about coming up with this design until I learned that Formula One has been doing it for multiple decades now. Anyways, you probably know the drill by now. Let's get the boring parts like cutting, sanding, and so on out of the way. Just keep in mind that while I have to sit through hours of this repetitive work, you only have to watch a 20 second montage. Instead of using rubber for friction like in my last clutch, I decided to go with epoxy, which turned out to work really well. You can see that now the, the dial was spinning really freely, uh, but once I apply some pulling force on it, it really locks up. So it seems to be working really... Give me a second. The knockoff Makita battery arrived, which is great because my old one was really not doing too well. Let's test it out. Uh, it works, but please remind me to put it in neutral next time. This clutch basically completes the drivetrain of this car, which means I can now focus on designing things like the chassis and suspension. Although I should probably focus more on my high school finals as we're coming up in like a week. Um, anyway, please give me your suggestions for any mechanical features to put into this car. I'm saying cup holders, maybe a glove box, you know, give me your ideas. The engine wires had to be rerouted, which meant reassembling the engine once again, which is getting kind of repetitive. And the flywheel was also a little wobbly, so I had to get a little creative to fix that. And this part just fell totally wrong for some reason. And then finally, to test out the clutch, I mounted it onto this temporary testing platform. As always, nothing but absolute perfection and quality. Also, huge thanks to my awesome patrons. I'll transport your guys' names on the door panel once I actually build it.